Right, so now I'm going to show you how you can put your clock face picture in the centre of your clock face. Obviously this is very important, it's the inspiration for your whole design, so being able to put the image in the middle really sets it off and makes it, um, makes it your own. So the way to do this is we are going to, well firstly we're going to, I'm going to remove shadows because shadows look great if you're presenting your work, but apart from that it kind of slows it down, so we're going to take them off for now. I'm going to go into my mood board, open up my mood board I made at the beginning of this project. Now, my mood board is very easy and it's very simple because it's just got one image on. Um, yours will obviously have lots of images, but you want to select the image that you decided to go ahead with and be your inspiration for your design. And we're going to right click on it and we're going to click <clears throat> Save as Picture. Save it into images or into a document. So I'm just going to save it into pictures. Um, Clock, image, save. Then we're going to go back to our SketchUp design. And we're going to go over to the top left with these three bars and click on there. Then we're going to go to Import, My Device. Then we're going to go click on My Device, which is your computer on. And we're going to go over to Pictures and we're going to select the clock image. Now it will say do you want to insert it as a material so you could use it as a texture which is quite fun but we're not going to do that we're just going to insert it as an image. So we're going to click on image and then as if by magic we've got our image in our SketchUp. Okay so now obviously um, we're, we're going to think about what we're going to do next. So we're going to move it over here. I'm going to move it so that I'm looking at my clock from the front because I want to keep it at that angle so I don't have to rotate it. So I'm going to click once and then you'll notice that you have the ability to make the image smaller or larger so this is really useful. This is where you decide how much your image you want to be in the circle so if you want to make it really big then it will just capture the, the, the center or if you make it slightly smaller it will get most of it in. So I'm going to leave it about that big. There we go. Perfect. Now obviously what we want to do is we want to make it into a circle so it's a, currently a component. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click explode. That allows me to now edit it. I'm going to go over to my line tool, click on that. Just like we drew the big, uh, drew the big hole in the clock, I'm going to draw a line from point to point, like that. Click the shape tool, select circle. I'm going to snap to the middle, so it always snaps to the midpoint when you draw a line, it's really useful. So snap to the middle, click, release, move out. Type in the radius, which was 35. Make sure it appears in the bottom right hand corner and press enter. Then we're going to get the rubber and we're going to remove all the lines apart from the circle that we need. Magic. Then we're going to reselect it, right click and make it a component again. So just to recap, we go back to the, the uh, select tool drag a box around our picture, so it selects it all, right click, make component, OK. So we've now made our clock face image. Now moving it's the tricky bit, so we're going to go down over here to the move tool, click on that, and we're going to try to move the image. So I always try and select kind of like a point that I can connect to, and I'm going to try and line it up with that circle in the middle. Let's try that. Now obviously it's kind of intermeshed in the back so we want to move it forward a little bit so I'm going to click on it and try and bring it forward slightly. There we go. And oh, I can see it's like slightly off centre now. So a little bit of trial and error. And there we have it, we have our clock face in the middle of our clock. You can see the inspiration, the spikes I got from my design and then that really makes it look unique. Perfect.